Hello, scrumptious donut. Smart contracts, chain link, friendship, kindness, middens, socks. These are what you must have if you want to be on the right side of crypto growth in the years ahead. So, smart contracts. We always speak about smart contracts in crypto because Vitalik, the guy with the giant brain that can barely fit in front of his skull, he made Ethereum. Ethereum is a general purpose smart contract blockchain. However, you can only do a limited amount of functions on there. They're not really smart contracts. They're more like analog contracts. Now we can do some cool stuff. For example, DEXs, Uniswap, one of the greatest inventions ever. But we can't really do the potential of crypto yet. We need Chainlink. And Chainlink is probably a good punt on the future. But what does Chainlink let you do, man? So smart contracts, they're only smart when they interact with an oracle. That's actually what makes them smart. Otherwise, it's just code and instructions feeding on the system within itself. You're basically, you're basically like somebody stuck in your own home. You can't really form friendships. You need to connect outside of your home. You need the internet. It's the same thing. You might be able to connect with people in your street, but compare the friendships in your street to me and everybody else on the internet. It's the same thing. You know, the Oracle, right? The Oracle is going to feed them data. And I've got various sources written here. So I'm just going to show you what that means. So an entrepreneur, an entrepreneur, I'm going to read this part. An entrepreneur can unlock insane potential through a DAP ID with the use of Oracle infrastructure. The link token is needed. So when you're looking at this, friends, you just got to think about where's crypto going? This is the total market cap of crypto. All right. I don't know if it's going to be six or eight or 12 or 20 trillion. It's, it's, it's going up. That's it. We solve too many problems to be valued this little. We're going up. So now the goal is, all right, I want to be part of the networks that participate in the value growth as crypto grows up this much. I think Chain Inc. is a solid bet. That's why Chain Inc. is one of my well-respected bags. And Chain Inc.'s price, don't worry about the price. By the time you see this video, the price doesn't even matter, man. Don't worry about this part. We haven't even hit potential. I want you to think about what Ethereum does. Ethereum is a general purpose blockchain. Ethereum lets you do some cute stuff, buying and sending and stuff, right? It's meant smart contract capability. However, the smart contracts are not unlocked yet. You need Chainlink to do that. So I'm going to put up the link ETH chart, right? So I'm just going to grab it for you now. Chainlink, you're going to have your nodes up. You have to think about what is Chainlink actually doing? So you're going to have Chainlink. Let's put this in here. Chainlink's going to sit here and there's going to be all these applications that are going to exist. And all these entrepreneurs, let's put this big box, everyone's going to make this pool of applications, right? Different apps. Uber, Netflix, Google search engine, social media like TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, so many other apps. Google Maps. They don't exist yet. So we're early. I want to tell you what's going to get made, but I don't know. There's thousands of people building stuff, man, and we don't know who's actually going to make it. But what I do know is when they start making it, it's going to go a little something like this. When they start making it, they're going to unlock their own potential from chain link data. So if you make, you know, let's use a real world example, all right? 
Let's use Google Maps today. Google Maps, right? And there will be a map emoji here. So Google Maps, think about it. It's infrastructure, all right? But Google Maps, you use it by yourself. But did you know if Google Maps didn't exist, Uber wouldn't exist? So now you have Uber here, all right? Uber. Also, there's other apps out there. There's Stripe and there's Twilio. Okay. I think Twilio is the messaging one and Stripe's the payment one. So Uber needs to grab Stripe infrastructure, Twilio, and the Google Maps. The Stripe is the payment part. The Twilio is to message the driver and the Google Maps is to tell you where you're going. You remove any of these parts, Uber literally does not exist. We can't even conceive of Uber. But you needed them to be made first for Uber to exist. Okay? Chainlink is going to be that infrastructure for crypto. So Chainlink is going to sit here and keep growing. It's going to have price feeds. It already does. You can get different price feeds. You can get user data. And the goal is over time, more networks are going to join and what they're going to do is provide data i always use these random i use I have to use boring examples because the exciting stuff doesn't exist yet you know so for example health records of a country that's one right health records of a country you know banking details public banking information in another public email addresses in another so many and i always use this like one example of like you know if someone wants to sell Maybe free services. They want to offer free services and they're in the health industry. Maybe they want to limit where they sell their items to a specific geographic location like the West Coast of America. And they only want to do it to people over 100 kilos weight. Maybe they're selling some diet advice. Maybe they're selling some sort of drug. But you've got to grab the data first. You know Where's it all going to come from? Chainlink is going to be able to provide it because everyone's connecting in. And then when you have this data, right? So all these data is plugging into Chainlink. When you have this data, the next Uber can get made, right? So all these apps, everyone's making these apps, right? These apps, they exist right now on the blockchain. They exist on Ethereum, you know? Now, one of these apps has changed its color to make it nice and pink. This is like Uniswap. Uniswap's really good here. Yeah? Uniswap's amazing. I can even grab the logo here. Uniswap's amazing. And you also have Aave. Right, Aave is also amazing, but we're pretty much we're starting to hit the limits about what of what what we can do in crypto on the blockchain. We're starting to. There's only a certain amount of things, right? We're, we're really like we there's no more meat left on the bone. It's getting really thin now. But the next wave gets unlocked when you have access to more data, because then. The next Uniswap type of innovation, it doesn't have to just grab information from the blockchain itself. You know, Uniswap uses the pools and people put it put in put in the money. The next the next apps that come in, you know, the next Ubers, that's what we're here for, man. These are the things that are gonna go like a thousand X. These are the ones that are gonna grab unique different stuff. That's what we're here for. And they're only going to be using one thing. Where else are they going to grab the data from? So if you want to make something cool, like some new health application, you have to get your information source. It's got to be valid information. Where are you going to grab it from? You can't grab it from within the blockchain. You're not putting any information there. I'm not. It's not even stored there. We can't even store it there. You need other nodes to connect. That's why I see these nodes up here. These nodes up here are important. These ones. This is why it's important when SWIFT, when the World Economic Forum, that's when they start writing about chain ink. They love this. They are governments. They're frothing at the mouth. They're like, oh, wow, we can control the population so easy with this. Yes, it's true. <laughs> it's true. Because all they have to do is control the chain link nodes that get the data because they're feeding in the data. And then... No matter which blockchain wins, friends, no matter if it's no matter if it's Ethereum, right? Ethereum. Let's delete this. Or Polkadot. 
or pulse chain. It doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter who's winning because the smart stuff, the big stuff, they're all going to have to grab data off chaining anyway. And look who's controlling the nodes. Now, a lot of people get upset. They say, oh my God, this sounds so totalitarian. Look, man, when you are dealing with real world information, you can't be 100% guaranteed it's authentic. It's up to the person providing the data. I'm not here to tell you what type of world we should live in. I'm just here to tell you what type of world we're probably going to live in. And we're already living in this world. It's just not as connected as much, okay? Ave, Uniswap, we didn't get in early. We couldn't have. VCs got in early. ICO done for Ave. We couldn't get in early for Uniswap, right? VCs. But the new app's coming. The new dApp's coming. Once some cool, smart, funky entrepreneurs start grabbing stuff, it's going to be great. But we're so early, we haven't even developed the full ecosystem of the data friends. They don't exist yet. They, it, that's how early we are, man. It's like first innings. We, we, like you're still building Google Maps here. You're still building Google Maps. It's literally that example. <laughs> it's like, you know, the future Uber is going to need Google Maps, but Google Maps isn't even out yet. So, yes, it's amazing that we're on this front tee now. Maybe Chainlink goes to zero. I don't know. But if it doesn't go to zero and this thing actually plays out, well, it's, a, it's, it's as blue as blue chip can get to me. To me, that's how I see it. I'm like, wow, I don't even need a bet on like people's patterns here. That's what I, I like, you know? Like, it, I don't have to decide between MySpace and TikTok and Instagram and or every other social media that tries to spam itself at the same time. I don't need to choose between them and who's winning and who's got the best idea. That's because we're early enough. People who come in in four, five, six, seven, eight years to crypto, they will have to choose between them if they want the rewards, okay? But we don't have to because we're in early now. Now, I'm not saying that we're going to make like a, 10,000x or whatever, these new apps that get made, these unknown apps, yeah, they're going to be cool, man. It's going to be great. It's going to be probably a 1,000x, going to be some great, amazing stories. But they don't exist yet. Like, we, we don't have access to them. And so, sadly, we're not even guaranteed it will be open to the public. It might be a 100,000x winner for the VCs that invest. You don't, you're not guaranteed, man. Look what they did to us with all these other coins. Not many coins are even allowing the pub people in the public to get in. Look at the layer twos for Ethereum. They didn't care about me and you. You know, it took someone like Richard Hart to do Pulse Chain and Pulse X. Like, think about the enormous scale of that for us to be able to participate in something. And now we're not even guaranteed anything like that's going to come again. They're so rare when they come. Once every three to four years. Oh my god. But it's all you need, really. You just need one home run. So when I look at the valuation for Ethereum, you know, you might also think, well, when does this play out? I don't know if there's going to be one catalyst point. I just know that the trend is, that's it. That's all you need to know. And as Ethereum goes up, it's probably a sign that the rest of the smart contract capability and the, how the market values it is going up. So Chainlink should go up. Should. Now, with Chainlink, you got to remember, remember, you're watching this, pro you're watching this, and at future date in time. Future date, don't worry about the price today. But the chain link token, okay, the chain link token is needed because all those data points that are gonna connect in, right, they're gonna feed it in. There's gonna be all these applications, right? So application A, B, C, D, everybody using them. They got to grab, they got to go to Chainlink now. Chainlink's got everything. Chainlink is the marketplace. It's, it's literally an eBay for price data. It's funny, yeah. It's an eBay for price data. And it's going to be other data as well. So but these people, all these apps, they're going to have to, to grab the data, they're going to have to pay in link tokens. So you, there's underlying demand for it, for the tokens. So pay in link tokens. So a lot of controversy is around because... They don't pay in them now. But look, that's not how it works, man. You can't charge people from day one. Do you think Facebook would have been successful if they were charging everyone $5 a month to use it? No. You got to get everyone in first. Remember, Matt Carf's law. Once you have everybody in the network, you've got a pretty big mega a megaphone that can just like yell at everybody in the house. 
once you, once you have everybody in the community there, then you can start to do the cute stuff. But the most important factor is to get the winning first mover advantage. That's why Chainlink's ahead. The competition is not even close. Even if they were close, would you take your reputation risk on the line with billions of dollars of money and risk it on a second tier Oracle? I know I wouldn't. So the direction seems clear, okay? But you got to remember, this can still take a while to play out. You don't know how long it's going to make you suffer. You don't even know what the real true potential is. We don't know how this plays out. All of this is a risk. You got to understand this from day one. But I've been watching this for a long time. And I like how there's no competition. That's why I like chaining. My final message to you. When you look at layer one chains and gaming and metaverse and all these other things, there's a lot of people competing. With chaining, the big guys, the totalitarian government, the pyramid structure, the IMF, World Economic Forum, the the bug eaters, SWIFT, like they've basically said, you are our chosen one, right? They've said it. I'm not going to sit here and ignore it. Are you? Until next time, friends.